The Riley and Kimmy Welcome Show to Collectibles what? Entertainment. This new Batman statue I got from Terry. The Oh, I'm sorry. This that's is okay. Your show. Well, that's all right. It's uh, I this was my show. Well, it's Joel. Uh, I thought this is like a QVC. No, no. That's next time. Oh no, that's right. Ne I get my dates mixed up. Time. My wife is always like, never eat chili before the tacos. Yeah. Or spaghetti oh. or ice cream. Never mix ice cream with chili. Okay. That's what she tells me. Somebody has escaped from Arkham Asylum next to me. That well, it's actually Joel D. Winecoop, actor, director, yeah. comic book artist. Oh boy, you got so many titles. Producer. Yeah, producer. Okay. I think that's it. Not game show host yet. No. But it's coming. No. <laughs> it could could possibly yeah. could be yeah. the yeah. end of me. No, I don't know. Yeah. Any I'll take anything. Whatever. Okay. Hollywood call Maybe him. Sit kids. I don't know. Okay. Get well, your room, you little creep! Okay. Stop that crying, you little baby! I'll well, whoop you, you little well. six-month-old! Okay. I'm not gonna get hate mail. No. Attention show promoters, he's available for your upcoming convention. Hey, see what you get right here? Yeah. He's he's alive. Yeah. That's get Joel. those kids out of here! Well, Joel D, where will you be next? What convention will you be at next? Or comic book store or event? Well, I know I'm gonna be at Sci-Fi Barto uh -oh. by Mr. Sean Serdansky. Nice. And Lori, his beautiful wife. And they do this, and there's Mr. George Lowe. Space! George Lowe, get back here! George, get your get your ass back here! Hey, Jan and whoop you! Jan and Jace need you! Yeah, that's right! Get back here, Lowe! Get back here! Okay, he's got George Lowe to just run out of an interview. Well, you know what? He's he's a big baby. He's Space Ghost. He went invisible. He's a big baby, Space Ghost is what he is. Invisible on us. I know. Wow. He put on a cloaking device. It's that shield when he hits it on his wrist. Okay. All right. So, Sorry. Okay, so you're going to be at a couple of locations. Yes. Right. Oh, yes, I forgot. Sean and Lori Serdansky's Sci-Fi Barto gotcha. happening in February 2017 because right. it's a new year. It's February, what is it, February something? 17th. February. We think it's February 17th, but we're not positive. We'll, we'll put, but it's in Bartow, and okay. it's Saturday, Sci-Fi Bartow, and gotcha. it's downtown Bartow. And a lot of sci-fi. Yes, because yeah. they have... Uh, <laughs> A Battlestar Cylon ship there, and the Black Beauty, and usually the Batmobiles there, and Herbie, and the, oh, and all kinds of stuff going on, and the TARDIS is there, and oh, right. superheroes, and oh, characters, and comic artists, and George Lowe, I think, is going to be there again, and oh, all kinds of crap, and I'll be there too. Uh, well, you mentioned crap, and you're there. That's good. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> crap and me go together yeah. good. Yeah, okay. King of crap, that's me. You're going to be right next to the porta potties. That'll be uh, yeah. Joel D. Wynkoop. They're there. Well, no, we keep them at the far end. Oh, okay. Because then I, I can tell some of the people there. Oh, Mine's yeah. just like this okay. kind of crap. Okay. Yeah, anyway. A different kind of crap. Cleared up. Well, you look good in well, thank you. Well, speaking of crap. Yeah. yeah. Since you do make movies, and I know you get pitched all the time probably with ideas, right? Absolutely, and I hate it. Well, I'm going to do one Anybody right now. Pitches me an idea, uh, I pop them all. Well, I'm going to get popped. Bam! Well, I'm going to get popped, man. Oh, I, I got an idea. Oh, well, you I, I won't hit. I got an idea. Can't well, whoop me. I don't know if you've been following the news, but in Deli well, actually Deltona, Florida, there's been an attack of squirrels at a retirement home. Oh, I, I heard about the okay. squirrels that Okay, well, I'm thinking, well, I'm thinking about, you know, why can't we do like a were squirrel thing? W w like a werewolf squirrel? You know, I, I'm thinking, and we call it maybe nuts. You know? And you know, maybe, maybe. I just think about you know, it, it can turn into like a human, like yeah. squirrel, and then, like morph. And, yeah, and, and you know, maybe Power Rangers, but it'll be the Paro. Uh, now George Lowe could come do the voice. He could be the voice of the you squirrel. do the voice, and I'll move them out. You I'll ready? Move. Here we go. Here we yeah. go. Here's the menacing squirrel. Here it is. Uh, Esther, I have to break this to you. I think I have a terrible case of the crabs. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. The squirrel. Mr. George Lowe, everybody. Yes. The, the, I don't know if he'll be the voice of the squirrel. Anyhow, the, 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 the voice of the squirrel. I, I, yes. I, uh, maybe he should be the serious announcer at the opening. Serious announcer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly like a uh, George Lowe speaking. Like an Orson Welles. Now gun. coming up next is squirrel attack. Squirrel attack from deep space. They come. It's squirrel attack. Once a normal a little boy bombarded with cosmic rays of squirrel nuts and then that don't, don't be stupid everybody's going to squirrel nuts he said squirrel nuts. nuts that are in a tree that the squirrels go and get and they pack them away at winter time that's what i was talking about stupid do you have his nuts the squirrel nuts that are packed away in the tree that they put in there for winter time so they have something to eat stupid yes and maybe a silver 
nut could kill the okay, where squirrel. Can we get off the nuts oh, already? Okay, okay well, well, nuts, you, you know, you and I kind of relate to that, don't we? Uh, nuts! All right, okay, look for that as a new movie. Squirrel Monster from Deep Space. I like that one even better. Me too. Interdimensional Squirrel. Interdimensional Squirrel! Time-traveling squirrel. A time-traveling interdimensional yeah. squirrel that passes through wormholes and meets and, and morphs into a mighty morphin' power squirrel. And he might meet whomever, like Ben Franklin. Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirrels, Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirrels. Squirrels, teenage mutant ninja squirrels, heroes in a squirrel's tail. Whatever. Okay. It's horrible. Well, I, we should be dragged out and shot. I, I, hey, by the way, did you notice? I spared no expense. He has hair. Oh, little hair in his ear. Yeah. That's cute. It's sort of like you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Well, we look forward. Oh, sweet. We, I'm glad you listened to the idea. I'll, I'll give you the uh, working script real soon. I don't want that crap. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he's going to love it. I got enough crap here he's on my He's going to love it. He's going to love it. Thank you, Joel. Thank oh, you, buddy. Thank you, man. Oh, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> and you, Kimmy and I were here at the Daytona Beach Comic Con, oh, yes. and we did the costume contest. And it went and, well, I heard. Yes. Kimmy is awesome. She is. I couldn't do it without Kimmy. I was up there the one day, the first time Tom said, I want you to do this, and I was out there in front of everybody, and I was like, okay, we're going to... Were you scared? We're going to do this costume. Scared? Content. Scared. And Tom was like, can you raise your voice a little? So I went, okay, we're going to do a costume. And then he was like, oh, God, I give up. I'm going to, where's Kimmy? And then he went back to you, because yeah. you guys argued, because yeah. she we're a team. Like we're a team. dollars to yeah. go. So he paid you a million bucks, yes. and he had to split with Kimmy. Then Kimmy gave out, gave me the courage yes. to be the man I am today. She does that to me. The, every, I couldn't do a daily I show if it wasn't for her. I, you know, I knew. Daily Show. I know. Yes, I, over 1,000 of them. Keeps you going. I know every single day. I know it. What, you She's kind of like Barbara Eden in, 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 yes, the, in the genie bottle yes. to Larry Hagman's uh, Mr. Uh, Nelson. Yeah, you, you got it right. He couldn't do anything because but, there was that episode that, that genie gave them the powers so him and Roger could do the dishes in the house. Yes. But you Absolutely. know what? It's sort of like she's genie, but I'm sort of like Darren Stevens. Darren Stevens. That's no, what I'm kind of. You know, no, I think I'd have to be the first one. I don't want that, se I don't want that yeah. second one. Yeah, because the yeah. first one was the first one, and, <laughs> yeah. and the second one's the second yeah. one. So you always go with the first. I'd one. rather be the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Then he gets like so my, sort of like that. Batman. Sort of like we mashed up. We mashed up. Bewitched in. I dream of Jimmy. Yeah. You know what? Next time. No, do it with me. Now go switch to Genie. Oh, you can't play this game? Then you go to Batman. Batman. Then you go to Superman. Then Star Wars. Oh, Hell, I okay, up. check him out. He'll be at Sci-Fi wow. City. That'll be one of the places. Find out wherever he is. We'll put links to Joel D. Weinkoop stuff, social media, and all that right on our website at RileyandKimmy.com. Don't come see me. Uh, <laughs>